Good evening boys and girls, this is Kosala, also known as Marventus, bringing you a special cast here today. This is the first game in the semi-finals of the Star2.org tournament. And here in the top left we have the Terran Purple Terran Mr. Blur. And in the bottom right we've got the Teal Protoss Legar. LG Ag. Now this is going to be interesting. What shall I call this guy? Legar? I can't keep saying Legar all day. I will simply call him Ugg. Ugg. It's Ugg versus uh, Mr. Blur. So let's see how we go. Let's get a production tab up. Once again, this is the semi-finals. First game. There'll be more to come. I'll try to upload one of these per day until we hit the finals. Uh, and here we have, in the background, a Supply Depot going up. Interesting choice of positioning, of course, because it is a Pro uh, Terran versus Protoss. There is no real reason to wall off. So sound choice here from Mr. Blur, who's going to be keeping an eye on his back door by putting a Supply Depot there. Interesting map, this one. Uh, Shakura's Plateau, lots of epic gameplay possible, very, very, very big map, so I would assume that we're in for a bit of a long haul. Let's see how we do. So far, nothing dramatic going on. There are SCVs, and then there are... There are, what are they? Good God, they're probes. For a second there, I completely forgot what it was called. Here we have a gateway going up, the first first production unit going up there for the Protoss player, along with the first barracks going up here for the Terran player. I've never seen these two players play before. I have no idea what kind of game we're in, in for here because, as always, I have not seen the game ahead of time. I prefer to be a little surprised during the course of my casts. We have the Protoss player running around here with his probe trying to find his opponent. And so far, not not hitting the right spot. But these two players are about as far away from each other as they can possibly get. Let's see how we're doing. We have one and a half rows of SCVs here. We have one and a half rows of probes, yes, everything is looking pretty much spot on even. We have an orbital command coming now up for uh, the Terran player Blur, and we have the first marine on the way as well. Now then, we have currently absolutely no army buildings whatsoever for our Tor my Protoss player Ugg. And here we are with the probe poking inside to see what's what. There comes the marine just in time to take a few pot shots. Is he going to make it out of there in time? It looks like the probe will live to fight another day. And what is this? We have yet another supply depot set up there. The orbital command has come up now and some mules are being brought down to assist with the economy. What do we have coming out here? We have a tech lab coming out of the tech lab. So I would assume that we're looking at potentially marauders or maybe some intriguing reaper play. Let's see what happens. Uh, now, in the meantime, has our our no our Terran player has actually not scouted the Protoss at all, so he has absolutely no idea where he is, and appears to be in no particular hurry to do any kind of scouting whatsoever. Instead, we have an SCV coming down over here. What's going to go up here? Aha! Uh -huh. A command center. Oh, I see. There's some expansion going on here. So uh, my, our, our uh, Terran player, Blur, appears to be going for a full-on macro game. Now, what is Ugg responding with? The first stalker has hit the field. Is he going to be going anywhere? He is actually heading down from the from the from the ramp, and there is, as far as I can see so far, no. Uh, did I speak too soon? Yes, indeed. There's a probe heading down to the expansion point. Are we going to see a uh, a yes? A nexus has indeed gone up. Both players heading for a slow and deliberate macro game here. And the first reaper has indeed hit the field. Yes, it was a reaper that came out of that tech lab along with this marauder over here. Now, what is that reaper going to do? The reaper is actually scouting, because our uh, Terran player has actually not yet seen where the Protoss is, and the first stalker has now positioned himself below the ramp, waiting for that expansion to land. So almost halfway down there on the Nexus, only one stalker and one probe in the way here. This can be easily dealt with if these two units head downwards. Here we go, the Marauder and the Stalker taking a few shots at each other, the Marine coming in with the action as well. That Stalker is going to make out of there alive, but the probe snuck in and now he's able to see everything. So everything has been scouted, he can see the expansion, he can see the barracks. So that's a four barracks build, no factory so far. And that expansion is also being upgraded to an orbital command as indeed one would expect, and the Nexus is about to get done here. So the first sentry has hit the field as well. Currently, neither party is going for any kind of extensive forays, playing very, very carefully and poking their head in to each other's bases to make sure they know what's going on. Actually, let me scratch that. The Terran player has not scouted at all, so he has absolutely no idea what's going on. In fact, has he even stepped out of his base? Let's take a look at Blur's vision here. Blur has seen absolutely nothing except this first expansion. Uh, other than that, he is clueless as to what's going on in the main... 
in the main base. Let's get back to everyone vision. What do we have here? We now have a fourth gateway, no, three gateway plus robo. So reasonably standard build here. I'm assuming we're going to be seeing a, a Colossus coming out in the near future and this um, this uh, Reaper is still keeping watch on what's going on back here. So there's a huge amount of space here in the back area of the map to be flying around in if either player were interested in getting any flying units but so far it seems to be a full-on ground assault. More supply depots going up in order to keep up with the uh, supply blockage or to avoid the supply blockage and now the um, the expansion is down here as well and mining away. Stimpak being researched. Let's see how the income is looking. Now then, Blur is slightly ahead. In fact, he's a good deal ahead. Uh, despite the uh, a lower harvest account and that would be the mules making uh, making up the difference there. Uh, Blur saying what manners? Manner, manners, not really sure what he was trying to say there. More mules coming down to keep the economy right well ahead of his opponent. Let's take a look at this army count here. This is starting to look like a bit of a, a bit of a posse here. And here we have a probe about to die a horrible death. There he goes. Two more orders, two marines heading down to poke around and see what's going on. And, and the observer coming in to see uh, from the proto side as well. Now nothing to catch that observer so far. There are no ravens in play. So he's going to be able to comfortably just hang out there. In the meantime, we have this posse of four heading down. Let's see what kind of havoc they can do. Certainly not going to be able to do anything against that army. So our Protoss opponent is doing a decent job of keeping himself well defended. And now we have a Bioball heading out. Let's see how Arg manages to defend himself. The ramp is not narrow, but neither is it particularly wide. So he should be able to, with two sentries, keep that well blocked off. An Immortal has also come and entered the prey. This is where life gets interesting. Here comes our first battle of the game. Up the ramp go the Marines, the scan has gone down, he knows what he's up against and there is a nicely well placed selection of, of, uh, of uh, shields uh, or, or what are they called actually, I've forgotten what they're called for this second, here we go, we have Marines dying at the front here, the Immortals and the, and the Zealots doing their thing. I was going to say force fields there of course in the panic of the thing I completely forgot what it was called and we still have uh, quite a heavy Bioball army here, that Immortal is going to be the one that saves the day. The sentry is doing an excellent job of keeping that army at bay while the Colossus got made and now the defense is looking slightly more stable. Right, our Protoss opponent did indeed lose a whole bunch of units there but a quick stim and run away has saved the, uh, the, um, the, the, the units of Blur. And now we've got even more Marines in production. He's kept his production up to a very very solid level. This is actually quite a sizable army. It's a very sizable army indeed. A couple of medevacs here wouldn't, wouldn't be going amiss. Do we have any medevacs on the way? No, a factory has come out, but I see no starport for the time being. Scratch that, there are actually two starports on the way. So a nice build order, fairly solid going on here from, uh, from our friend Blur. Very solid, very large marine ball army, and to match that we've got a couple of Colossi now on the field, a couple of Stalkers, an Immortal, and a few Zealots. The count here are still a little bit low. Let's see what Arg is going to be coming up with. More pylons going down there. Do we have more gateways morphing in? Yes, we have two additional gateways there. The robotics facility is blasting away. It looks like Arg is going to hang back just a little bit and relax and macro up a bigger army. We have the factory heading down here from Blur to make sure that he can see what's going on. You'll notice that, that Blur actually started his scouting extremely late, but nonetheless does not seem to have handicapped himself that much because of it. He's still a little bit in the lead as far as uh, units killed is concerned. Is that factory ever going to make it down there? That is one slow-moving scout. Right, he's going to catch sight of the army heading his way, and what we have here is three Colossi, a few Stalkers, a few Stockmind sentries, and an Immortal, which is actually not, an, uh, not a pleasant army at all. The proxy pylon has gone down to bring in extra units as necessary. Now let's see how the defense goes for Blur. Is he going to be able to hold his defense under the onslaught of the Protoss? More units warping in now. Nicely in time. The Colossi are taking the lead against the Marines. The Medivacs are out just in time to do some healing. And so far, just a few pot shots. nothing else going on. We have a few Vikings in play now. Oh, more Vikings in play to deal with the Colossi. Yes, that's one Colossus shields down. It's going down in a really big hurry. The Marine ball is being held at bay by force fields, but the Vikings are doing their thing. One Colossi has gone down. A second one is in very bad shape. We have Marauders and Marines coming in, but still it looks to be slightly in Blur's favor for the time being. With the Vikings going in again for the kill, that Colossi looks like is going to be short-lived. Is he going to make it? He's still making it. 
That Marine Ball is getting under heavy fire on the Colossus. There goes another one. There's only one Colossi left. A quick stim and a chase coming in. Is he going to make it? The Zealots are coming in from the side to finish off the Marauders. Nice flanking work there from our Protoss player. And everybody backs off. Let's see who came out the victor. I think it looks like our Terran my player Blur has come out victorious in this particular fight. We only have a handful of Zealots, uh, rather a handful of uh, Stalkers remaining on the side of Ag. But he is morphing in some new, some new units back at home. Let's see what's going on here. We have the factory lounging around here waiting for his next foray in to see what's going on and in the meantime production continues yet another medevac on the way we have immortals coming out as well and a forge on the way few more marauders coming out to replace the ones that were lost but on the whole in this particular first salvo blur has come out the victor now the proxy pylon finally getting scouted and being pulled down two base versus two base things are pretty even and arg is rebuilding his uh, his units see how this goes now m minerals are running out at his primary base his secondary still looking reasonably okay minerals running out here for blur as well on the primary both these players are going to be needing to take a third base fairly soon unless blur is looking to make a one shot final push to victory let's see what's going to happen here we have considerable production coming on from both ends zealots immortals and we have another Nexus being put down. Yes, the base is going down here for our Protoss player, Ugg. Whereas Blur is still choosing not to take a third base. <coughs> we have a Medevac drop in play now. Where is he headed? He's headed to join the factory, which has taken a seat down there by the, uh, by the expansion, presumably to deny any, any expansion there from Protoss. <coughs> and the North expansion here has no <coughs> not been scouted. Sorry about that. <coughs> Sorry about that, rather. Here comes the drop. Marauders coming in, taking down that fight, that cannon just as it morphs in. That is quite a sizable drop of Marauders. They're coming in. Is that robotics facility? If the robotics facility goes down, that is a sizable problem for our, our Protoss player. An excellent little guerrilla attack there from, uh, from a Blur, taking down the robotics facility, which means there will be no more Immortals. Had a bit of an FPS issue there for a second, dropping to one. And the robotics facility is not being rebuilt. In fact, a few photon cannons are going up instead. And we have a cybernetic score still there. And I'm just, uh -huh, we have Templar archives building as well. But look at the size of this army coming in from Blur. Uh, a serious ball of death headed the way of the expansion. Is Arg going to be able to keep this at bay? There goes the scan. The Vikings are taking some fire. And they're landing as well to join in the melee flight. There are no colossi there to be dealt with. Uh, I don't know whether that was a good move, but so far the Vikings appear to be holding their own. A storm felt looked like it was going down there, but it actually did not. Arg is now under considerable power, the uh, considerable firepower. The Marines and the Marauders stuck behind that uh, that shield. They're going to be free any second now. There they go coming in. This expansion is gone, and there is a GG, and he's left the game. There you go, boys and girls. Game one of the first semi-final of the semi-final of the StarCraft uh, Star2.org tournament. Do uh, stay in, uh, stay tuned for more in the next few days. I will try to be uploading one per day. I hit the rewind button here by some by some sort of fluky accident. Uh, and uh, feel free to like, dislike, comment, and whatnot, and other YouTube stuff, of course. Uh, and I will keep it coming. Thank you and good night.